It's five o'clock. Um, we're calling the meeting to order. Calling the meeting to order on Tuesday, December fifth at five o'clock. We have Peter and Bridget on the Zoom. Um, we have Orca Media here, and we have Eric from the Road Crew and Dorinda and Steve as our very welcome guests. And George Longnecker. Oh, George, I'm budget. sorry. George I didn't George see you back budget. there. And George Longnecker. Thank you, George, for coming. All righty. So um, approving, and Vic is um, not with us tonight. Um, so approving the minutes of the November 21st, 2023 regular select board meeting, action likely. Did anyone have any comments about the minutes? Okay. Here they are right here. Um, let's see. We had we had all of us present, so that's good news. Um, do we have um, a motion to approve the minutes? Sure. I'll move. Okay, I'll Peter, move. and a second? Bridget, okay. Moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor of moving the minutes? Uh, of December of November 21st please say aye 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 okay they are approved all righty um, reviewing amending and approving the agenda for tonight December 5th select board meeting action likely um, is there anything that we are amending Sarah uh, not to my knowledge okay Peter do you have any amendments I just have a like a two second uh, Welch Park update. Okay, a Welch Park update. I'll put that there. Heaven forbid that we have a meeting without talking about Welch Park. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll quickly also just talk about a little correspondence I've had with VIA um, also for about the town hall. Um, alrighty, so do we, have, do we have a motion to approve the agenda? Okay, thank you, Randy, and a second? Okay, is all there a set. second? All righty, we've got Peter seconding it. Go ahead, Bridget. Okay, all those in favor of approving today's agenda, please say aye. 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 All righty, aye. great. All righty, so we are ahead of schedule to get Peter to his dinner at 6.30, and we can go over the budget workshop with the highway. Are we expecting anyone else from the budget committee? Zara has zoomed in. Who has? Zara. I think Zara. Oh, Zara, okay, great. Uh, Mark going to attend, I thought. I thought Mark was, thought Mark was planning on Okay, like that. so maybe we just give him um, a minute in case he's planning to attend it. We're a little ahead of schedule. <laughs> um, do we want to uh, zip to the highway department update in case Mark sure. is on his way? Why don't we do that? Um, Eric, would you like to give us a little update on the highway department? Sure. Oh, here comes Mark. Okay, well, let's rewind. <laughs> rewind. Mark is here. Um, thank you, Mark. So we are going over the highway department presenting your fiscal year 25 draft budget and any other budget updates. Action unlikely. Here. So <clears throat> I submitted this and then found some errors. So there's, it's not completely 100% error proof. <laughs> um, I really was only uh, increasing only a few items. Um, Road salt, obviously, because that's gone up to ninety dollars a ton. Um, to nineteen eight, it was fifteen eight. Um, what line item is that? That's the first one. First, the oh, very road first. Salt. One. Yeah. Yep. Um, wow. Trucking for uh, winter sand usually is what we use that for. Um, I increased that some too because it cost us more this year than than anticipated. Um, by five hundred or five thousand dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? The road salt has gone up to what? Ninety dollars a ton this year. Okay. And it was eighty-eight, I think, last year. Can you guys hear Eric? Okay. You might not be able to. Peter and Bridget. Okay, okay. not for break. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Pull that mic. Oh, wait, that's for Orca. Oh. Let's see. Uh, tire chains. Um, 
I added an extra $500 on those just because the prices of those have gone up so much as well. Uh, road gravel, um, I didn't dare to go any higher than, than adding an extra $20,000 on top of what we had um, to $50,000. Uh, what else? Uh, wages, I was shooting for a four and a half percent. Um, and I think that is it as far as the only other thing I see, Eric, is just your used oil recycling. Yeah, well, that, that's because we never had that before. That was that was an item that we just barely brought in this year. I don't know why it's not. I didn't transpose it over, but remember we added that last year. Yeah, we year. added it. It was in last year's budget. Yeah. I just kept that the same. It's just moved over there. Okay. So this doesn't have anything to do, this budget doesn't have anything to do with, like, all the FEMA work that's going to be no. done. No. No. And there isn't no, is an there overlap really in any way? No. Excavators. Okay. Yep. Do you envision, like, I think, and this might be part of that note that you said was from a residual from last year, but mm -hmm. I just see a note for bulk oil and DEF here about anticipating rise in cost, but it looks like we level funded. Yes. Um, I, I don't foresee it going more than what it has, much more than what it has this past year. I could be wrong, but it's a gamble. Um... There is, uh, Peter had mentioned something about the excavator. Um, there is a grant opportunity out there that I'm applying for, for new diesel equipment through the state. Um, so hopefully that will help with that purchase. And that's not what I'm Okay. I just, I just anticipate, and I think we all do, that, you know, getting our roads back into shape is going to involve a lot. more maybe than we think, a lot. And, you know, any extra money we can find or save, we need to put into that this year. And that 20000 of of gravel is just a drop in the bucket, but it's a big drop, so that's good. And also, you know, we haven't had we haven't had a discussion uh, a discussion about wages, but it's good to know that you built in four and a half percent. So I have a question regarding the uh, excavator. Mm -hmm. Like I know that that's coming in in the CIP, but mm -hmm. in here for equipment purchase, and I'm imagining that this is used as something different. But line item sixty nine. It just has fifteen hundred dollars. That's for like small, small, small tools, small, yeah, and tools. things like that. Yeah. Is anywhere in this um, highway budget include uh, funding for purchase of an excavator? No. Is Not there just... somewhere else upcoming to the other select board members that that would uh, be captured in that um, our fund our equipment or isn't there capital a, equipment fund but that's that's just to fund future purchases not to necessarily where did i um like how is that captured uh is it truly through that capital I, fund i'm wondering it does like is the capital fund its own little budget it is remember we turned it into yes we added it to our budget as line right. items and i think that's for things like that excavator, that we wouldn't also have a line item to add to the excavator, I think. Mark has a question. Yeah, I think that's correct, but. Uh, yeah, Mark, yeah. I just wanted to make a comment. I think we have submitted to the select board, if I'm not mistaken, a capital budget for the next budget year, which includes, among other things, the excavator and a dump truck 
and something else. So again, what generally will happen is, and Dorinda will correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, if we purchase them in the next budget year, for the next budget year, the first payment is the following year. Mm -hmm. So Correct. we'll finance it. It won't hit the budget next year. It'll start hitting the budget the following budget year. Correct. Okay. As long as that's, a, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it was accounted for somewhere. But I don't think you have, like, presented to it. Like, this is only our second week, right, of presenting? So, right. like... So I think, though, again, my senior brain might be lacking here. I think I submitted after a budget committee meeting sort of a, a one-sheet wonder on what the capital budget looks like for fiscal year 24 and 25. And no, we haven't, haven't discussed it yet, but we will. Okay. But I think also, and am I wrong about this too, is that the capital budget yeah, are you talking that those are the actual line items of things that we need to include in our budget, or it's yes. just the capital budget? So those are line items. So remember, the, the capital asset inventory that Randy um, alluded to is, is think of it as future costs. Yes. So we've picked the excavator and a dump truck, I think, out of that. Mm -hmm. And now those will be moved into the actual operating budget for okay, the yeah. next X years. As well, well as those funds that we fund every yeah. year. Yes. So this is yeah. this is what was submitted. It hasn't made it to the select board gotcha. for the agenda yet, but Mark has so, submitted it to Sarah right. so that it can be worked into right. this process. Gotcha. So we could choose in financing those to take some money out of, let's say, the, the new equipment fund to put a down payment on, right. depending on what the interest rate will be at the time. Gotcha. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Right. To lower the cost of it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Right. Thank oh, you for that explanation. Nice, or if we got a nice fat grant, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> okay. Oh, to try. <laughs> Go ahead. I have a question. Um, yes. Rick, you haven't spent any money during the current year, the last I looked, on gravel. Mm -hmm. So are we intending on spending that prior to end of year and then adding? For the following, I mean, because that well, would we, be eighty thousand dollars. Because there's thirty there now that you haven't spent a dime on in this current budget. Correct. In this current budget, correct. Now we have from April to July. That's why I'm asking. Which we're probably going to be using. Okay. I would certainly hope we are. <laughs> and it won't be FEMA gravel. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got roads that aren't necessarily FEMA issues that still need to be attended to. Okay. No, I just wanted to point yep. that out, yep, that absolutely. there is that $30,000 that yep. we're sitting on. So can I ask another question about this FEMA road budget and then this road budget? So I understand that this is like our regular maintenance mm -hmm. road budget, right? Um, but I think, are we planning to... So we, we have to spend the money on FEMA, uh, on this, we have to spend the money on these people, right, that are doing the repairs for mm -hmm. FEMA. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to have it somewhere in the budget, like that this, that we need $2 million to pay for the rest of the repairs. Because we still have to pay for them, and we still have to figure out how we're going to pay for them. Um, and I'm not saying, like, let's present to the voters, our budget's going up by 200%. Like, that's not my intention. But I think this does not, if I were a townsperson, I wouldn't understand that this is just us and not the whole FEMA piece as well. Um, so, it, and it could be its own little separate budget that we say, but the reality is we do have to pay for it before we get reimbursed from FEMA, and that means that we may have to take out a loan or do the bond. Well, right? I think it becomes a special question. I don't think, it, no. I personally feel you don't want to mix it in with your operating budget. I think that, yeah, I, you, this is to just maintain our roads right. no, as we do from year to year. It becomes, yes, we need to, it's a discussion the select board needs to have prior to going, you know, are we going to ask the town to, you know, authorize something different? Um, 
and I'll bring up under the treasurer stuff that there is um, the state is now um, putting out a low interest thing for us um, for all the municipalities and um, which would cut what we're currently paying in half but what we would have to do is pay off this three million or wherever we're at at that point and then with the with the money with that money and i don't think we have the other piece of this is and we better not forget it is that damn uh that damn fema match which is going to be a huge chunk of money i mean the buyouts are one thing but the fema match is another thing mm -hmm. uh, we've got information on that we can share after that later yeah. in the meeting or whatever too so okay but i i like the idea of creating a special one-time portion of the budget which shows which shows that and you know i would hope i would hope that any money we expend next year we would be reimbursed in that year so it would only be the net that we should show but i don't know whether it's fair or realistic to do that or not i hate to show the total amount of the expense when we know we're going to get reimbursed yeah sarah so uh you know we're probably going to have i assume we're going to have a town meeting that's going to be in person right yeah. correct and budgets can be amended yeah. budgets can be amended from the floor i mean you can get there with the town meeting when you have a floor meeting people can get up and say why are we spending this slash it they can cut it from the budget so my question is what happens if you put that on the budget to vote I don't think we do have to put it on the budget to vote. This isn't, I don't think pe people get a say in whether or not we repair our roads people that get have been a say destroyed in the budget, from period. FEMA. Yeah. No, uh, but, I, but, but by, what I'm saying is if you put it as like part of your budget, yeah. I mean, you could put an explanatory, explanatory, you know, article. Yeah. But if you put that on, you're going to have someone who's going to say, I don't want to spend $2 million on the road. Screw it. You know, they could, what if they say no? What do we do then? Right. I guess. But the reality is we still have to I pay think for it. When we accept that FEMA money, we're contractually obligated to that match. I don't- No, no, Peter, I you're missing the point. No, Peter, you, Peter, Peter you're missing the, my, my point is that if you put something on the, on the budget that goes before the voters and, it, and there is a section about road repairs that will be reimbursed by FEMA, that budget can be voted, that part of that budget can be voted down. Do you understand? And it just I do, I understand what you're saying. What I'm no, saying is that. number one, I don't think we should show the total amount of the road repairs. We should show the net amount after FEMA reimbursement, I hope. And then the question is, do we include that as an informational section or do we actually include it in the budget? And I agree with you. If we actually put it in the budget, there's some risk that it'll get amended or voted out, and then what do we do? Because we're obligated to pay that money. Randy has a comment. I I would just suggest that it's issued as its own informational piece mm -hmm. with the full budget of the expenses showing a line in that report what FEMA is contributing to and a separate line as to what our potential match is and not tied directly to the operational budget. I do believe it should be separate, but the town folks should absolutely get all of the information put out in an informational report here, I believe. Like its own report, like not just our select board report, but like a FEMA report. Like a FEMA absolutely. Report. Yeah. Um, Good question over here. Mark. Yes, Mark. So by definition, this seems to be the money that we're spending on the roads this seems to me to be a one-time capital expense if we think about it that way because we're we had a situation right we had flooding our roads got hammered we're getting reimbursed by fema this is sort of a one-time expense that we're making and everything we're putting into the roads has a useful life of more than a year mm -hmm. so i think we just need to think about how we're going to couch this to the voters this is a one-time, um, you know, act of God, whatever you want to call it, right, that we have to do. And we're simply, we're getting this much from FEMA, as Randy said, and we expect we're going to have to chip in this much. But this is a one-time deal. It's not, this is not anything to do with our operating budget year over year.
And there's a cost, which is the match, even if it's a small amount mm -hmm. after everything is all said and done. Do we budget for that? <laughs> I think I, this will come up in the treasurer's report, I think, based on what she was saying just a minute ago. But that low interest bond opportunity that the state has developed for this, and I don't know a whole lot about it, but it sounds to me like that our match essentially would be fit for that and it would it be able to be spread over seven years yeah but um at a much lower interest rate mm -hmm. and i think that's what essentially the town has to authorize right i mean they I would have to authorize town, that or no i don't know if the town even has to authorize this because i mean they don't even have to authorize us buying a truck for the highway department because we're obligated to repair our roads. And so we can buy a truck without their authorization. I don't see, and I could be wrong, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I would think that we, we're under an obligation to keep our roads in repair. And I think we, whatever it costs to repair them, we have to cover that expense. Um, and I don't know if you have to go to the voters for that. I mean, well, we can we can we can figure that out when the uh, when the time comes. But uh, my understanding, I I followed the stuff on that state loan. I listened to the governor's uh, press conference, and at the very least, that provides a bridge for us. You know, at the end, maybe we have to borrow some money. You know, who knows whether we can pay it off in seven years. There's also there's also still a lot of talk that the legislature is going to appropriate some money to reduce that match even more, not alone, just an absolute grant. So uh, if that happens, that could help too. We've just got to let it play out. There, there is something just for for a we did it in 2021. Where we went to the voters. 24 VSA 1786. We spent a new greater an amount not to exceed $290,000 to be financed over a period not to exceed 15 years. So there's like a time period there. And I do, yeah. do you remember, I remember that? Above right. Seven years. That's, you can only borrow for the useful life of what you're borrowing for. So um, we had to go to the voters for that. Because it was over a certain amount. Right. That's yeah. what true magic is. Yeah. It was over a dollar amount. But it's over like, it's over, uh, like, if you do it, if you go into finance over a certain number of years, I think it's close yeah. But, um. Okay, so back to the town highway budget, just the regular highway budget. Are there any other comments or questions for Eric? I or Dorinda? A, I can go and fix my mistakes too for you. Oh, no. I'll. I'm good. I'm good for the time being. I think we've got to keep track of all these other parts and bits of this as we go along, but yeah, good job, Eric. Thank you. The overall Thank you. increase of 5%, just under yeah. 5. Well, yeah, it's going to be a little different than that because I got some errors in there. You got some errors. Yeah, and it won't, it won't reflect all of the uh, stuff that I didn't know. Taxes, I, I, unemployment, you know, all that kind yeah, of stuff within wages. It's, that's all just carried over level. Okay, right, yeah. The only increase was to the wages itself, but all the all the stuff that's attached to that. Yeah, I have no idea what that's. Yeah. Oh, right. And it all trickles down. Yes, it does. We're going to have a good increase to the health insurance. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Back to the uh, highway update. Yeah, highway update. <laughs> oh, right on time. 525. Oh, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, we had some equipment issues the last couple weeks, uh, but we got through. Um, we managed to manage the storms fairly well with the breakdowns. Um, our new truck is <laughs> down at the dealer with a coolant issue for some reason it's losing coolant we don't know where <laughs> um, so we have that going on uh, let's see that's about it when you when you talk about breakdowns was this the breakdown that you were referring to like coolant issue or there well there was that there was a hydraulic a couple hydraulic issues on on the Kenworth a couple blown lines and just nuisance problem stuff yeah but we're all back to capacity at this point short of this truck sort of yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes okay any other questions yeah. for Eric or yeah I, I don't have a question for Eric but 
Is that the FEMA? He's got some information. I do have some information on the, the FEMA work. Okay. The FEMA work that we have left to do that we have presented the roads to the uh, FEMA people. Um, I've done some budget estimates in here, which comes out to about $2.6 million. And I'll be going over everything with Eric and Vic this coming Friday. We're, we've got a meeting set up. And I'd like these, I've got all the bid information that will go to the bidders, whoever asked for it. But I'd like that to go out immediately after that meeting, you know, sometime the first of the next week, so that the bids can, and I have it in here, so that the bids would come back in uh, on the 8th of January, so that we would have time to go through the bids, do our work, whatever we need to do to present to the select board at their next meeting on the 16th. For spring work? And that will be yes. all for yeah next next yeah, next, year. next summer next work. construction season. The meeting that you have with Eric and Vic that's this Friday the eighth. Yes. You're muted, Peter. Peter, you're muted. <coughs> Just to be clear, that's additional work. Yes. So we're going to be at like 5.6 million then? Yeah, this is just, this is an estimate <laughs> on this. I mean, where the bids come in, that could be a different thing, but. Oh no, I understand, but I'm just yeah. saying, now our guesstimate of the total amount of the work is 5.6 million. 4.6. Yeah, we're at, we've spent two thus we've far. We've only spent two, so it's 4.6. Okay, 4.6. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank Dang. you. It's a lot of money. But at a 25% match, that's a lot of money for yeah, the town. Yeah, 1.2 something 1.2, like right, you know. exactly. Wait, can we, yeah. Bridget, do you think it's worth talking about the, the Ella Chapin stuff now? Yes, you wanna? Why you wanted you do it? You're the well, expert. you've got you. I don't. You're the expert. I don't. Ha no, I'm not the expert. I don't have uh, her letter, email in front of me. Do you have it there? Uh, that yeah. would solve everything. That would solve everything. <laughs> um, uh, we we had a discussion with Ella Chapin last week, our representative. Um, so let me just get to this. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm gonna print it out. All right. So Ella asked. Uh, called here and wrote me and asked, you know, what our challenges were with these floods. And I said, basically, the biggest challenge is the fear of this match. Uh, with a hazard mitigation program, with our hazard mitigation plan overdue, um, we were looking at a 25% match. Ironically, the hazard mitigation funding was just approved Monday. But anyway, so the bottom line is this. She checked in to uh, what is available for towns like us. And she said, good news, Vermont is almost definitely going to qualify for 90% FEMA coverage of expenses for all towns within a few months. So that's good. So we're past 75%, we're now looking at 90%. So we're now looking at a 10% match. But wait, there's more. This seems inevitable given the estimates of statewide flood-related expenses, which are astronomical and which will be more than several times the threshold that qualifies our disaster declaration for the higher cost share. So after a minimum of 30% of the local match covered by the state's ERAF program, you could expect at most to be covering 7% of the costs sustained. So, um, but then, that's Ben Rose, thinks there are other ways that the ERF portion will go up and Middlesex might likely end up at the 70% level. So, in other words, it's still in the works, but what we're looking at is, first of all, the FEMA match will not be 75%, FEMA will not pay 75%, they're gonna pay 90%. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that'll kick in. At the very worst, we'll have to pay, we'll have a 7% match, but maybe even less than that. So we're looking at, a, that's gonna be very helpful. 322,000, that estimate. For four million. That's For the 4.6 million that Steve yeah. Estimated incredible. for the, that work plus what we've spent. Right. 
Right. But and she mentioned be. something about during Irene, um, like how that yeah. match was sort of built into like our taxes and a bond or something like that. Like it was something One where, way that could happen is if the legislature passes a bill early in the session to cap local match and ensure ERA covers seventy five percent of the match for all towns. So in other words, we're looking at now the seventy percent of the match. Of ten percent. Set right, of ten percent. So it could be that um, you know, we will that we won't have to look at three hundred and twenty thousand. So that'd be three percent or am I yeah, getting three percent. Yeah, okay. That's when I came up with. So whatever three percent of 4.6 million. What is that, Randy? I'm looking at 138. 138. Four times, it's, yeah, not, four times. it's not, it's not chump change, but it's well, it's to what we were looking at. quite different. Yeah, yeah. Quite yeah. Different. yeah. yeah. And, and if that factors into that, that the potential share. use of that bond over so seven years, right. Right. Spread the that would be great. Right, right. right. That loan, you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, sorry if I said bond. Well, bond is like, yeah, sorry. If we can get pennies, okay, great. All righty. Um, so it's all good news. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Let's just hope there's not another disaster. Um, all right, any more? Well, the silver lining there is we're getting a lot of work done on the roads. Well, that there's no other way it would be done. Right. Well, we'd never get to everything. We would never get to it, right. I know. There, just add one other thing in there, not put a damper on it, but... <laughs> well, no, but I'm just yeah. saying there's mitigation with this with the FEMA stuff and we have done some of that already upsized some culverts added some culverts yep. well some of the, the what they do in their mitigation is 15 percent more than if say we put in a 12 inch or there was a 12 inch culvert in there and it was a thousand dollars they're only allowing 15 percent more than a thousand dollars to upsize that so there will be a little bit of money in there with the culverts that we won't mm -hmm. capture in there. Okay, that makes sense. All righty, any other further questions about the roads or FEMA? All righty then, moving on. Thank you, gentlemen. Please, you are welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to set a date and time. Peter, you can talk about this. Uh, for a select board site visit, how exciting, and subsequent public hearing to consider accepting Private Road Welch Park Drive as a Class 3 town road by deed and acceptance. Action likely. Ooh, action likely. Well, you have to have more than 30 days. In okay. Considering oh, because we're going to set the date and time. Okay, right. yep. Peter, do you want to tell us about this, or is this a Sarah thing? He's muted anyway. Peter, Peter no, you're muted. Yeah. Okay, you're yeah. muted. He doesn't listen. She's fine. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You're on mute, Peter. Oh, it took a man to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'll, I'll leave my, I have a little bit of a cough. I'm getting over a cold, so I keep muting myself. But, um, it is the next step in the Welch Park process. And nothing else can happen until we take over that road. So the sooner we do it, the better. All right, so should we do it our next, no, 30 days. So in January, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. Like a January select board meeting? Um, I mean, it's literally gonna take five minutes to drive down that road and back and say, yep, there it is. It's just what we thought it was, et cetera, et cetera. So right. on the 16th of January? Well, wait, hold on, give me a break here. Wait. Um, we got to, I mean, we got to, we got to certify mail all the people who are involved. Oh, and okay. There's, it's a, so well, it's not the, a rush. The problem, the, prob the issue is not how long it takes you to drive down there. The issue is that the statute requires at least 30 days notice and you have to certify mail everybody. And so if you yeah. could, just for my sanity. Let's move um, it to February. I mean, there's no rush on it. We, as long as right. it's done by our the year end, you know, by well, the end maybe of we June. do wait until after town meeting. I, I would just suggest if you could just give me to like February sixth, if you could do that, yeah. we can. And then, we and can, then uh, that'll that'll give us enough time to notify all the parties because some of them are hard to track down, like you know, some landlords. So I don't, we don't want anybody not to be informed. Okay, here you go. So we meet at Welch Park um, at five. 
Two, yeah, 5 p.m. 6, uh, February 6th. Do we need daylight to see what we're looking at? You're just gonna look at the road. By that okay. time, I think there'll be daylight. Oh, wow. You just you'll drive down it. You're a hopeful anyway. person. You can I just know. drive down it and you'll feel the road. <laughs> <laughs> and then have a public hearing. Okay. Yeah. All righty then. So is there, a, is there any discussion about this? Any further discussion? 5 p.m. the yep. February 6th followed by a public hearing. And also that's kind of a dead zone for you guys. Uh, you will have done, you have nothing to do in February. So oh, wow. Great. Okay. Um, all righty. So no further discussion. Do we have a motion to approve I'll make this? That motion. Okay. To approve the February 6th uh, meeting and public hearing. Is there a second? Randy, thank you. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All righty. Okay, everybody approved. Yay. All righty then. We're at 545. Um, compiling a list of grants needs, grants needs, um, to submit to the Municipal Technical Assistance Program. Action possible. Uh, I really didn't get a chance to think about this. Did other people? No. Okay. You were the one who asked me to put it on the agenda. Did I? Well, we do need to talk about it at some point, right? Um, I mean, we could talk about some things. Um, so this is the tech. This is the one that Eli was talking about, the Municipal Technical Assistance Program. Um, I don't know. There's no rush. There's no deadline. Yeah, there's no deadline, right? But this was the, them s supplying us with technical assistance to help us figure out about stacking funding. And yeah, you're supposed to come up with some ideas of things that you need, and then right. to Eli. Of things and that, things that we need, yeah. Ellie. Right. Well, we know we have the town hall, some things with the town hall, yeah. but there's more than that. I mean, there's yeah. probably some things road related, truck related that we could be looking at. I don't know. Found garage related. Um, okay. Do we want to just. Think? pass over this? Anyone have any deep desire to talk about this? Okay. Alrighty, we'll move over it then. And ooh, we're getting closer and closer to Peter's um, being able to get out early. Treasurer's okay, report. Okay, the ice clinking in the other room. Yeah, treasurer's Here's report. report. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, we discussed part of it. I will send out uh, forward an email to the select board if they're interested. There is a um, Vermont League of Cities and Towns meeting on December 12th, a Zoom meeting, for inf more information on this municipal bond. But it, the amount is 1.3%, which is wow. a pretty good rate. Um, Very cool. So, uh, that would be so and it is for seven years um, and they have three and a half million dollars to throw into this so um, I will forward this to everybody and I've already signed up for it um, and uh, if you guys want to sign up for it you can. wait I'm confused they only have three and a half million three I think it said three the program oh no oh it'll save taxpayers three up to an estimated three and a oh, half because we need to borrow like yeah two and a half million yeah no it's well ideally we borrow we'll, all of it that's what I mean we have to borrow all of it which would take up the whole fund the state received 15 million in a loan so interesting well I mean that could be a that could be an issue that we don't have that we can't borrow the full amount that we want to borrow because they only have 15 million and other towns yeah also had to borrow i think we were one of the harder hit towns though for sure yeah. um but that would be an interesting thing to ask dorinda at that if there's if there's an opportunity for questions about like is it first come first serve is yeah, it yeah how um, it will work that's why i'm gonna i'm gonna plan to attend that i, I think don't know Randy's if anybody else is but just to keep in my numbers there yeah um so but that, that is a great rate yeah. it is a great rate it was good to see that. and even be, to be able to take you know a million and cut down that loan we have would be amazing yeah um let's see there was something else i had to share with you on it um and now i can't remember what it is uh 
We've got another school payment you'll see in the orders tonight, so we have another big payout going out this week. Um, other than that, I, I can't remember what else I was going to mention, but couldn't have been too cool. Oh, I know I have an appointment with, I had to cancel my original appointment with the other IT person. He's coming in next Friday oh. and going to take a walk through at the setup here. And then um, I will invite him to the next select board meeting. Okay. Nice. Could you hand that down to Eric? Any signs that needs to be leaves? Um, all righty. Any other thing that you want to talk about, Dorinda? No, I think that's it. In terms of just a question about the loan that we took out from Community Bank or wherever that was from, mm -hmm. like is that what is the payment process on that? We have a year to pay it. Okay. Um, if we can't pay it down in a year, they they said they were open to you know possibly looking at okay. renegotiation. Okay. But and, uh, you know if we're getting these bills in, we've already have given to FEMA. Uh, the first two million dollars worth of invoicing we have a handful of invoices we have to add to it um, but other than that it's been submitted they're already working on it I would not be surprised if we don't see some funding really so before before like, you know the before the end of the, end of the wow. fiscal year yeah no, I would agree with that before the end of the fiscal year you said yeah I wouldn't be surprised yeah. do you um, or I didn't know if you were being calendar or fiscal no. no, not calendar year. By June? By June. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. by June, too. Yeah, yeah. I would I think hope. so. Jeez. So, but, so, I mean, it, it's not going to be, you know, so then if we have to borrow a smaller amount. Mm hmm Okay. And the municipal bond, how quickly, is that something that, like, has to go to the voters? No. Again, it's not like a regular you know, bond. I, this whole thing it's like and I don't know what the legal part of it is yeah. like I said that we had no choice but to incur this expense it wasn't like we went out and bought equipment or anything like that we had to fix the road and we didn't ask the town to borrow the three million right so I mean we had no choice but to you don't have to do that it's not a it's the, the issue is going into indebtedness over a certain after a certain period of time that's the issue. Okay. Yeah. And it's different for like fire trucks versus roads. Dorinda's right. The, the, the statutes are geared toward the select board making sure making all that the decisions. those roads run. Yep. Do yeah. what you have to do. And I think that the only, the only issue about going to the voters is when you get into an indebtedness over a certain period of time, uh, like the yeah. past seven years. Got then it. you have to do that. All righty. That's cool. Um, okay. Any other questions for Dorinda the treasurer? <laughs> Yay, Dorinda, thank how the, you. How did the taxes come in, Dorinda? Did they come in pretty well? Uh, yeah, if we, uh, they're coming in. Like I said, we're able to, actually we're paying, um, actually sending out checks to all the small uh, special articles in this week's as well because there's enough money and I feel comfortable we can carry until the next tax payment is due. So, yeah, they're coming in. Well, thank you, Dorinda, for juggling all of these payments and bills and our budget. It's a lot of work for somebody who is, quote unquote, in retirement and <laughs> giving up a lot of time that you aren't getting paid for, well, probably. Well, so, I, thank uh, you. I couldn't do it without the help of Cheryl and yes. Sarah. Yes, and thank you to Cheryl and Sarah as well. Might the whole world know how great we have a town clerk and a bookkeeper and a treasurer. Okay. Alrighty, so other business orders we have been passing around. Thank yeah. you. Um, we'll sign those by the end of the day. Correspondence, Sarah. There was that letter uh, from the, the lawyer. The only correspondence I have is um, that Ella Chapin, yeah, oh, you yeah. know which one I was going to send you anyway. And also, just to put into the minutes that for the board's request, the town attorney did draft a letter and send a letter by certified mail to Zach French <coughs> and Evelyn Prim on Thursday. I think I sent you guys copies, but that's now part of the public record in case anybody wants to read that letter. 
restating or stating, confirming what the, our road policy is and what our state statutes are. So that has been done. All right. Um, Randy and I both had comments on that letter. Well, too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> If it went out, right. So hopefully it doesn't come back, but okay. Um, but thank you for sending the letter out. I didn't send it. It's well, attorney said. thank you for the attorney. Accepting the Planning Commission's recommendation to reappoint Kevin Thompson as town zoning administrator. We have him here tonight. Action likely. Um, Okay, so do we have to you have vote to about this? Vote. We just it's have to yes vote no. on it. It's, it's a yes or no. It's the, the state okay. statute says that I get appointed for a three-year term. Do you want to be appointed? Yes. The no is yes. <laughs> Are you doing this under your own free will? No. no. It's not. <laughs> it's under duress. Under duress. <laughs> okay, well, we thank you for... Seriously, um, very much thank you for doing this work as the town zoning administrator because I know it's not, you have to learn a lot, you have to know a lot of stuff, it's easy to make mistakes and you don't and that's great. Um, so is there a motion to um, reappoint Kevin Thompson? Absolutely. Okay, Randy, woo, motion, who seconds it? So don't all jump oh, at once. Okay. Uh, Peter seconds it. You gotta be a little quicker, Bridget. Yeah. <laughs> all those in favor of reappointing Kevin Thompson as town zoning administrator, say aye. 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 Great. Aye. Congratulations and thank you for your <laughs> service you. to the town of Middlesex. Thank you. Uh, I'll be back in three years. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you thank for you coming. Kevin. I appreciate Kevin. all the effort. Y'all have a good night. You too, thank you. Okay, so we have this, um, oh, I guess you stayed, Eric, to talk about this. Thanks. We've got the, um, sorry, did you? I'm just saying thank you to him. Oh, okay. Because I, I should have put that up higher. Yep. Um, approving a new access permit for 422 Center Road. Is there anything about this that you want to tell, share with us? Okay, it looks Something like it's for, um, I don't know who it's for. So it's uh, it, Dick, Dick Alderman's house. Oh, Tom Vickery? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Dick already has a access to that house, but they need another access for to logging. that land. Is that right? Or Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's for logging. Alrighty. So I can just go ahead and sign that, Sarah? You have to approve. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, is there a motion to approve access. this access permit for be 422 Center Road for Tom Vickery? And give Liz the authority to sign. And give Liz the authority to sign. Randy makes that motion. Is there a second for that? Go ahead, Bridget. Got it. Okay, Bridget <laughs> seconds it. To uh, moved and seconded to approve the um, access permit and for me to sign. All those in favor say aye. 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 Signed. Signed, sealed, delivered. Also, Eric, you've got to sign that access permit too, right? He did. Her. You did? I had him sign it because I thought he was going to walk away. <laughs> All righty. So any other matters that may come? Be oh, my gosh. It is. Okay. I need to chair these meetings more often. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is there, are there any other matters that may come before the board? Glad you're enjoying your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> any matters that come before the board? Uh, you were going to talk about your. Oh, right. Quickly. VIA. So VIA um, has been sort of nudging me about um, because they're planning. They have to plan themselves, you know, for the year, what they're doing. Um, and so I. Um, let me just read what she said in the email. Um, let me bring it up here. Okay. Would you like us to, this was back in November, would you like us to prepare a proposal at this point? Or rather, does it also make sense to wait for a successful bond vote? Because I had mentioned this was all previous that we were thinking about just doing a bond. Um, and then prepare the proposal. We can prepare a proposal in pretty short order 
and would prefer to not exercise consultants if there's any question about the vote passing. Since our current capacity won't allow us to start prior to quarter two, so quarter two for them, I'm assuming, is January. My sense is, is that I could reach out to consultants and request that they hold the capacity in their schedules and let them know that we'll work to prepare a proposal around town meeting day. Now, if even regardless, even if it had been, say, a bond or something like that, but if we're, so I basically emailed her back and I said, um, we're, we decided to put on a floor vote um, a request to the town to pay for a design review from for, for you know um, from an architect right and um, with potentially like a not to exceed amount um, and but we won't get that money till July 1 right like isn't that or can we ask to have them do it and pay like that doesn't make sense I don't quite understand that the logistics around that if we do a floor boat in March the money doesn't really isn't it a part of our budget like doesn't it or does that is that not a part of our budget it's not part of this year's budget no I, not not this not the current budget it would be part of fiscal year 2025 Five. budget which is July 1 mm -hmm. so we really couldn't have them do the work until after July 1 when the money becomes available right unless right they're willing that. to get paid after July 1. Which I'm sure they're not. I mean, we don't want to ask him to do it. But, it, you know, at any rate, they may not. So I emailed her that, and I said, I don't believe we, you know, we could start the work. The only other question I had was, and I don't know that this is possible, if it passed, could we use, like, ARPA money to pay for it and then pay it back with the budget? Or does that not work? Is that weird? It's probably I weird. I don't think you can. The problem is, is... You've got to make that expense show within the budget year that right, you're right, voting right. on. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. it's so that not, doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, she has not responded to that, but I don't think it really. So in the grand scheme of things, if we wait until after July one to do the design phase. I, I mean, we haven't even gotten our audits, our energy audits. This MERP money, I believe, is going to be pushed out. And so then that could be a November vote for a bond. If they can do bond votes in November, I don't know that you, I think you can. What did they say? So you could, so you got two things, going to the bond bank versus a bond vote. You can do a bond vote anytime as long as you follow the statutory process. Shall right. we, shall we okay. pay the dues? That's not the issue. The bond bank stuff, that I don't know. That's it's twice a year. It's twice a year. It would be like, it would be next winter's bond, bond basically. Right. So, but you can get author, once you have authorization, you have authorization. Right. 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 But the bond bank is going to demand that authorization. You can't say, hey, we're going to go for a bond. Right. Yeah. Give us money. And this might be more palatable overall because we might have a better sense of getting paid for FEMA, how much we're going to have to pay. And you're going to have the best voter turnout in November that you'll ever get. That is very true. We will. Right. Um, so, um, so what do you guys think about that? I'm assuming they can do the work. We, you know, I would be happy to continue with them. I don't see a reason to switch because we already did this work with them. But if we get approved, then it would be July 1, and then it would be in November. Um, we'd be able to do some sort of public meeting after that and put it on the ballot for November. Right, and if it's, you're gonna have a bond vote, on, uh, if you're gonna have a bond vote on the ballot, you're gonna have to have a really official, formal public meeting as well. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. So that I would anticipate, you know, I don't know how long a design study takes. Does anyone have an idea? Months? I'm sorry, what, Sarah? Like, how, Liz, or, how Liz? much a design, how long a design study of our town hall would take? I don't know. Probably a few months. Probably a few months, yeah. Yes, I mean, they already have, you know, they've, just, they've basically done all the preliminary work. You know, all the measuring and anyway. Right. So, Let's say October. Does that give us enough time, Sarah? Yeah, you need 30 days. Not more than not, not more than 45. Not 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 fewer than 30. You have to follow up between that window. 
Okay. Well, I think by town meeting day, which is the third of the month, right, or something like that, if we know the answer then, we can schedule it. That gives them plenty of months out to schedule this. And the other thing is that if you already have your, your figure in mind, like so if the design is going to give you a more detailed plan, but the, if you have a budget, if you have an idea of how much money you need, those are separate, you know? Well, the design is supposed to tell us how much more money we need. But they can ballpark it, right? Yeah, it gives us a better, according to um, Sandy and um, Dave, you get a better estimate of how much money you're going to need. So can I ask Much better. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, mean, I have a question about, uh, we've had one kind of public notice about town hall, the town hall plan, but since then I've gotten feedback from people about the plan, like, hey, how come there's not this office, or why do we have that much space devoted to this? Is, is this too late to change No, this? not at all. Oh, it's no, not, not at all. No. So this we can, yeah, changes. and that is like the, you know, if, if there are, the same thing about the food shelf, people are like, oh, you know, the food shelf's tiny, right? Like, do we want to have something that's a little bit bigger and, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I know, but, you know, in, in retrospect and in talking to people, I'm thinking there are some things here that don't work that we need more space for, like office stuff uh -huh. and less space for displays. Do you know what I mean? Like I historical know. society displays. Yeah. Well, and I also think that there, there can be ways that it gets spread around the right. whole building, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah. like a museum, right? right? It Which doesn't necessarily have to be... A much better way for people to see stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think that when they we do that design phase, they do have further conversations. Okay. So with it's us. not like we're set with it. Okay. No. But the, but we did say this is what we like, and so this is our opportunity. If we say if she comes back to me and says, okay, yeah, that sounds like a good plan, I'll email her back and just say, okay, you know, we have some thought. You know, we've had some feedback from people, and we've had some sort of second thoughts. Like, can that be incorporated into the design? Wonderful study phase. Yeah, that would be the time to change it. That would be the time. I would right? just keep a running list of, yeah. of yeah. those yeah. items. Yeah, I got it. Right. The yeah. further the further we get down the road, the harder it is to make changes. This is a very good time to make changes. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so any other thoughts or comments that may come before the board? Hopes, dreams, <laughs> celebrations? <laughs> Hope we don't lose power for three days again. Oh, we're yeah. supposed to be I hope I have power oh, back. Sunday. We didn't have it today. Oh, you didn't? No. I mean, it came back probably. I don't know. Uh, I haven't been home. Um, okay. Great. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Let's adjourn the meeting at 5.58. Woohoo!